This is the motivational success story of Deepika Padukone, how she beat depression and anxiety and overcame every failure. Deepika Padukone is one of the most famous Bollywood superstars, but when she was a kid, she was socially awkward and shy girl who didn't have many friends. She was in love with outdoor sports and wanted to be a badminton player like her father. But as she was growing up, she decided to be a fashion model. And as Deepika was becoming more and more recognizable, she also started to receive offers for movie roles. She worked very hard and became very popular. Many film critics predicted that Deepika will be a big star because she's very talented and they were not mistaken. Her movies were a big success. And after having a huge success in the first few years of her career, one not-so-successful period filled with failures started to lay upon her. In 2010, Deepika had five film releases and they were all one big commercial disappointment and received many negative reviews. But this period filled with failures helped her grow as a human being. It helped her become a person who is not so easily scared and knocked down by every negative thing that happens. I feel ups and downs are a part of one's career and this totally depends on how you take it. You can either be knocked down by the negative things or you can take it in a positive way and learn from it. Sport has taught me how to handle failure. It has also taught me how to handle success. It has kept me grounded. It has taught me humility. One of the life lessons my father gave me when I started out was that getting to the top may not be as hard as staying there. For some reason, that thought keeps coming back to me. And today, I understand what he said. It has not been easy. At the same time, I value everything that I have today because I have worked very hard to get to where I am. There have been struggles, sacrifices, immense amounts of dedication and discipline that I have given to my career because I love what I do so much. I value what I have because it has not come easy. In the initial years of my career, I faced a lot of criticism, but I have never been afraid to take risks, to acknowledge that there might be areas that I need to work on. I had made my weakness my strength and worked further to enhance my strengths and to keep on learning. She overcame every failure in her career and became one of the top-rated stars in the movie industry. In 2017, she even started dipping her toes in Hollywood side to side with Vin Diesel. But when she was at the top of her career, something started to go downhill. She opened up to the world and her fans that she was battling depression and anxiety. In early 2014, while I was being appreciated for my work, one morning I woke up feeling different. A day earlier I had fainted due to exhaustion. It was all downhill from there. I felt a strange emptiness in my stomach. I thought it was stress, so I tried to distract myself by focusing on work and surrounding myself with people, which helped for a while. But the nagging feeling didn't go away. My breath was shallow, I suffered from lack of concentration, and I broke down often. Over a period of time it got worse. When my parents visited, I would put on a brave front because they were worried about me living alone and working long hours. Then once while talking to my mother, I broke down. She realized the problem and got in touch with a psychologist friend, Anna Chandy, to get to the root of the cause. Every morning it was a struggle to wake up and shoot for the happy new year's climax. Finally, I had worked with Anna. I talked my heart out to her. She concluded that I was suffering from anxiety and depression. When she suggested I take medication, I was resistant. I thought talking was enough. Later I met another psychologist for a second opinion. There were days where I would feel okay. But at times, within a day, there was a roller coaster of feelings. Finally, I accepted my condition. The counseling helped but only to an extent. Then I took medication, and today I am much better. I took two month break to recover mentally and physically. And today Deepika is determined more than ever to lift the stigma attached to talking about depression and other mental health problems. For various reasons, there's a stigma attached to mental illness, which is why people choose not to talk about it. 
There were several reasons I chose to speak up. One, because it transformed my life in many ways. It was the most difficult experience I have been through, but it also taught me a lot about myself and about life. Overcoming it made me a stronger person, and I now value my life much more. Accepting it and speaking about it has liberated me. I have stopped taking medication, and I hope my example will help people reach out for help. Being sad and being depressed are two different things. Also, people going through depression don't look so, while someone sad will look sad. The most common reaction is, how can you be depressed? You have everything going for you. You are the supposed number one heroine and have a plush home, car, movies. What else do you want? It's not about what you have or don't have. People talk about physical fitness, but mental health is equally important. I see people suffering and their families feel a sense of shame about it, which doesn't help. One needs support and understanding. I am now working on an initiative to create awareness about anxiety and depression and help people. Deepika, who is one of the few celebrities to have spoken publicly about her battle with anxiety and depression, in 2015 founded the Leave, Laugh and Love Foundation to help spread awareness about mental health problems and fight the stigma surrounding those problems, because she said that depression could happen to anyone at any point of time because depression never discriminates. Life all of a sudden just felt meaningless, and there were days when I just wanted to give up. I was diagnosed with clinical depression. Four years on, I stand here in front of all of you with a slightly better understanding, I think, of life and my feelings and the person I am. The triggers could be different for different people, but it's something that came on very unexpectedly. It was important to share my story, my experience, my journey, with the intention of helping other people who were probably going through the same thing, but were not able to come out with their stories. When I realized I was depressed, then I started reading about it. When I read that one in four people are depressed, I felt that I'm not the only one. I also felt how many people must be feeling suffocated to fight this battle all alone. I just wanted to reach out and tell them that even I'm like you and it's okay if you feel like that. Realize that you're not alone, that we're in this together and most importantly, that there is hope. The motivational success story of Deepika Padukone helped us realize that your failure can be turned into success and your battle with depression and anxiety, even though a painful one, and you think you've lost already, you can come out of it as a winner. Never lose focus on what you want for yourself. People will try to pull you down. There might be things in your life which will deter your confidence. There might be days when you want to break down. There could be days when you feel like giving up. It's extremely important to be emotionally strong and be focused. Do it your own way and don't be afraid of making mistakes. I meditate, I breathe out what I can't control and I focus on the positives. So whatever happens in your life, whatever you face, the good, the bad, the ugly, the most important thing to remember is that everything is part of this beautiful journey we call life. So be real, be open, be vulnerable, ask for help. People will relate to you on much deeper level. Everything is going to be okay. You can handle everything that life brings upon your path. You have more strength, more resilience and more power than you give yourself credit for. Things will be better and you will survive. And one day, you'll be grateful you didn't give up. So, what's your story?